right, if you are doing that for Jesus, can you make it louder? So, Van Shefu Jesu, only Jaco to be a law. I mean to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So, by Jeff, or by one by Tilua, or Lua, the I am that I have, the minute in day, minute, the King of Glory, or about go, the ancient of days, as Bani. The mighty man in battle, Jagu Jagu. the holy one of Israel. Israel. If you can hear me, Do me, raise up your voice rest, okay. and worship Yahweh. Oh, yeah, no one like him. No one to be compared to him. Before him. There is no other God. After him, there will not be any God. He God, God is your God. Can you lift up your voice and say, Father, I worship you. King of glory, I worship you. Ancient of days, you are God forever. Hey, you know, Lord, oh, Can you pick like a song on your home and worship your maker? Oh, yeah, it has pleased the Lord, oh, the one, Lord oh, that you will see today. Oh, yeah, it has pleased the Lord, oh, the one, Lord oh, that we will see this year. Oh, no yeah. more delays. Oh, see that, Go ahead and worship oh, yeah. him. Oh, yeah. Lord, oh, yeah. I want you to just wave your hands to him. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. No one like you. And no one to be compared to you. You are God by yourself. You are God by yourself. You are the God of all flesh.
I have seen the affliction of my people. So, something caught my attention. That God's people can be afflicted. Did you see from the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 God by himself said I have seen the affliction of my people every God's people here that have been afflicted the first good news all right, all right, to know that I have brought for you today that the Lord has seen your affliction. If that is you, let your head fire. The Lord said, I have seen the affliction. So that you are God's people does not mean you can't be afflicted. If God's people was afflicted, and I want to pray for everyone here. Whether you are a pastor or you are a choir, Bible said God's people can be afflicted. He said, I have heard their cry. Hear me. 2023, 20, no more delay. I have a good news for you. That the God of this altar have heard your cry. You will not cry anymore. Everyone here that have been having secret tears, the Lord will wipe away your tears. In the place of prayer, I saw Minister of God, I went on your Lord weeping. You want sorrow, and I said, God, oh, what are you doing? These are people laboring in your name. I want you want to share that good that good. And he showed me the scripture. Oh, I feel be by your hand. That he has seen the affliction. Let me tell you here. Yeah. Let me tell you here. Every child of God here that have been afflicted, you have been delayed, you have been troubled. If your amen can be louder, the Lord will answer your prayer. I said the Lord will answer your prayer. From that book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 7, you will discover that there was a man that was afflicting God's people. And the name of the man is what? Is Pharaoh. He made up his mind. He said they won't allow God's people to go. The people go said that their time has come. But Pharaoh said they are not going anywhere. Hear me, child of God. Anyone that says you will not move forward. Anyone tying you down to Egypt. Your deliverance is coming today. I say your deliverance is coming today. I want to read from the book of Exodus. You know where Exodus chapter 10. You know something. What God wants to do here is this. There is going to be a total deliverance here. There is going to be family deliverance. Family deliverance. Whatever is tying the mother down. That is also tying the child. You shall be delivered today. You know, but you need to understand this. I read from the book of Exodus. Chapter 10. I read from NLT. He said, then the Lord said to Moses. Moses. Return to Pharaoh and make a demand again. Anyone that will be free must be ready to lay a demand on their freedom. 
Anyone that will be delivered, sir. Make a demand of their deliverance. If there is no demand, there will not be deliverance. He said, Go to Pharaoh again. He has been going before and he has been defeated. He said, This time around, go back again. Go back again. Maybe last year. Pharaoh defeated you. The Lord is saying, Make a demand this year. You shall be delivered. The Lord said to Pharaoh, to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and make a demand. And make a demand again. Don't be tired and make a demand. Don't be tired and make a demand. Your deliverance is here. But you must make a demand. But you need to understand. Before we go very deep, you need to understand that before you can make a demand for your deliverance. Bible said in Esther chapter 3, verse 7, it said, I have had the affliction and the cry of my people. For your demand, for you to face the devil and make a demand for your deliverance, you need to understand that you have to be part of God's people. He said, I have had the affliction of my people. Of my people before God can hear only the affliction of God's people that He will hear. I want when you're and if He cannot hear you, don't try to make a demand for your deliverance. So the starting point, sir, the starting point, sir, is that you must be part of God's people. You must be part of God's people. You must be born again. I know you go to church, but you can't fake God with your church going. If you don't live the life of Christ, you can't be delivered. There is no shortcut to it. You can be active in church. Are you part of God's people? Does God know you? Know something, sir. Some people claim to know God. But how many people does God know? You can claim. To know Buari. We bought my Buari. What does Buari know? She Buari more. You can claim. Only so. To know God. We bought my Lord. What does God know? She was a lot of more. Only God. A lot of the car can fight your battle. If you don't know God, you can't lay a demand. Oh, let pass. You are wasting time. For your deliverance to come. You must be part of this. Children. He said, I have had no wonder. No wonder. He said in his word that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination before God. If God is going to hear you, if you are going to be delivered, if you are going to be set free, if you are going to fail Pharaoh, I will lay a demand on your destiny. You have to be part. You have to become a son. You have to become a daughter. No shortcuts. You have to be born again. Your life has to reflect Christ. Your die to, sir, 
your title, sir, cannot confront the devil. Only the man to that to receive from sonship can change your situation. Enough of title, sir. Your life by title by title. Only man to can fight your wrestling. You can only have man to until you come to Jesus. That wrestle, that wrestle, can only part by coming to Jesus. When that is settled. You can now go to Pharaoh and make a demand. I said to Pharaoh, the Lord said, I should tell you, let my people go. Because as we round up, I want us to really pray. But you know what something? Foundation is very key. If you build a building, and it looks so fine. To be to ga. If the foundation is good, there is nothing that will make the building stand. Go ni go so kan kan. To ma je ki ile yen ko duro. That is why I need to tell you. To ri e mo se gbodo so fun o. I have seen people. Mo ti ri awon eniyan. Attend deliverance service. So tin wa si ibi tun sile. But after leaving the church. Yo won bi won tin jade. They lost their deliverance. Won so itun sile won nu. Because what we sustain their deliverance. To ri on to ye ko di itun sile won mu. Jesus that supposed to be the foundation. Jesus to ye ko ja ipinle. It's not there. Ko si nbe. That is why we need to establish this. To ri e la gbodo se fi but you know something when Pharaoh because of my time when Moses God told Pharaoh Pharaoh said no he won't let you go destiny is calling me I uh, so my next level is calling me. My destiny is calling me. But oh, Pharaoh said no. Pharaoh said no. That I will not go. My next level is calling me. But look at Pharaoh. He's blocking my destiny. Look at Pharaoh. He doesn't allow me to be helped. But God says, let my people go. You know something? Until God send punishment in the life of Pharaoh and the Egypt. He released them for a while. I want to pray for someone. Every Pharaoh. That they say you are not going to go. That you will be in the life of a slave for a long time. The Lord will rise today. And destroy them by fire. Let me move faster. I want to read. Verse 10. He said. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Reply. Oh, 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 the alone. Lord will certainly, certainly need you to be with you. Oh Lord, yo, yo, If I let you take your little ones, I can see through your evil plan. He said never. Lie. Only the men will go. Only the men will go. When the punishment was much. When the punishment was much. Pharaoh said, I will release your husband. I will not release your children. I will not release your wife. Let me ask you. How good will it be? The husband is in slavery. No, the, the wife is a slavery. 
The wife is a slavery. The children in the slavery. But the husband is in the city. If your children are not free, if your wife is not free, you are also not free. The deliverance Jesus came to do is a total deliverance. I pray for somebody today. Every pharaoh die down your destiny. As you stand on your feet, the Lord destroy them by fire. I said the Lord destroy them. Let me read you one of the portions I love. The response of Moses. I love this. Just remain standing. Verse 26. He said, All our livestock must go with us. Not a wolf can be left behind. You know what is called a wolf? You know, we, the cow, you know cow. Let me, the shoe of the cow. He said, not even that shoe of the cow. We'll be left in Egypt. I'm not ready. Don't even leave the shoe of the cow. Listen, if the shoe of the cow can be delivered, what will stop my children from being delivered? What will stop my wife being delivered? What will stop my husband being delivered? I want you to talk to God. Me and my family, we are delivered from every slavery. From every work of Egyptian, say I am delivered. Say I am delivered. Say Father. Say Father. I refuse. Moko. Listen to this. Bami. Some people. I won't come. They are holiness. They are holy. You want you want me But they are poor. They are poor. Prosperity is still locked up in Egypt. Whereas, all what Jesus came to do is a total package. As he make you only, he also wants you to prosper. Some people's destiny, their health, is still in Egypt. I want you to say, Father, every work of Egyptian against my deliverance release me today by fire. Can you open your mouth and talk to God? Can you open your mouth and talk to God? Lord, deliver me. In Jesus' name we pray. Please lift up your right hand to the Lord. You are here. He said, I have heard the affliction of my people. You know you are not part of God's people. I'm not saying you don't go to church. But you know you are not born again. I want you to raise up your hand. Only you. You know you are not yet with Christ. You know the affliction is much because you have not been identified with Christ. There is a secret sin in your life. You want to decide for Jesus today. And say, I want to have the ultimate freedom. I want to leave the slavery of sin. Raise up your hand. Those of you that want to do that, raise up. Can you, can you come okay. to the front? Can you come? Come. Those of you. Come to the front. Come. Come. 
Come, 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 come. Those of you that are raising up your hand. Just come to the front. Yes, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Come. Yes, 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 yes. That is the first step with your, your deliverance. I know. God's servants are many here. They will pray. And you will be delivered in other things. But your first deliverance is your salvation, sir. Oh, yeah, come. Jesus is coming. You. That is your first deliverance. You want to be able to say, My people. You want to fight your battle. What are you still waiting for? Those of you in the front, lift up your Right hand to the Lord. 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 Yes, all Lord. I want you to confess your sin. Oh, yeah, bear. See, my dear, we share it. So for Lord, tell it to God. Mom, I pray, let's share it. I know I'm a sinner. Mom, I pray, multi dash. I know I'm a sinner. Mom, I pray, more need con con shepherd. Do I know I don't have anything to do with you. Shukola, Roy. But this morning, multi go, who ye have had your voice. Multi sheta, I'm ready. Lati tele to follow you. Oh, Lord, Lord, ye. Oh, Lord, God Almighty. A daddy, a shemi, Jimmy. Have mercy on me. Oh, yeah, talk to God. Bow, Lord, and so for long. Bow, Lord, and so for long. Confess your sin. Confess your sin before him. And tell him you are sorry. Tell him you are sorry. In Jesus' name we pray. All right, just repeat after me. Say, dear Lord. So 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 those of you in front, close your eyes. Raise up, raise up your two hands. And, and say, dear Lord. I know I'm a sinner. I know I have sinned against you. Please, Lord, I have confessed my sin before you. Please have mercy. Have mercy. Today, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. As from today, I will live for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me pray for you. My Lord and my Father, I want to thank you for the life of this one, for the deliverance from slavery of sin, into deliverance Deliverance of lies. They have been delivered from darkness. And they have been translated into the marvelous life of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, please forgive them of their sin. Write their name in the book of life. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Please follow up with them. Don't let them go back. This is a fruit of no more delay. This is a fruit of no more delay. This is the fruit of no more delay. This is the fruit of the Madinah. Let this fruit abide. Let them become your voice. Let them pronounce your name. In the name of Jesus. My Lord, please. Lay your hands upon them. Lay your hands upon each and every one of them. Lay your hands on each and every one of them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.